Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being back in the room. Uh, we are starting the Fei Chui session. We have uh, esteemed people, guests, and friends, not only on the stage, but uh, specifically on the line. I want to thank Ken Wong, who will be the moderator, and Norman Chu, who has prepared everything. Ken, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Norman, uh, this is uh, something that uh, uh, is more important than what it looks, because if you're referring to Jade and Jedi, uh, and I would like to uh, remind myself and you when this uh, uh, story starts, which was uh, a few years ago when I was invited to be in Hong Kong uh, for a conference from uh, the Hong Kong Gemological Association. And on the stage was uh, uh, my good friend Ken Wong and all the others, Norman uh, uh, and many others, Yang Lik Sin, uh, the professor uh, that is there that uh, I truly am very happy to see all of you. And they were talking about the topic of jade and jadeite. I have always enjoyed, since my many decades, I go to China, apart Hong Kong, but China itself, to see these wonderful precious stones. Uh, and uh, I start trying to read about this fantastic stone. And I didn't understand initially, talking many years ago, uh, about the value of, and the beauty of this stone. So I started reading, and when I was invited at that event, I was listening to this incredible scientist talking about it, and I was truly impressed. And then I was requested, how come the Sijo is not considering uh, uh, Jade, then I said, you know what, you are absolutely right. I take the challenge, and since there, few years uh, has come, including, unfortunately, the, the COVID time. So for a couple of years, we never were able to continue, but we did online, we did with the interchange of information, we start moving on. I brought this issue to the Sector A, uh, at that time chaired by our beloved Roland Naftul, and now under the uh, uh, leadership of uh, Ken Scarrett. And then today we are here. So I want to pay tribute, gentlemen, to you all for put that challenge to my attention, which I took as my personal challenge, and since then we are here. Because the Fei Chui standard, it is a very important standard, and for those who are not aware, the value of business produced by jade is second only to diamonds. So you may clearly uh, see and percept how important it is. So I want to uh, pay tribute to Ken Wong for this incredible effort, and I give the floor to you, Kent, and is this a pleasure seeing you at least on the screen. Thank you very much. Okay. Kent. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you so much uh, for the kind word. This is my great honor to be invited to join this meeting. I'm really uh, excited that when I uh, collect the uh, WhatsApp from uh, my most respected leader, uh, my dear husband, uh, Dr. Kavira, uh, Kavirani, uh, I think uh, that is the great opportunity for I mean, all the team, I mean, that they involved in uh, making Fei Chui um, uh, uh, group uh, to 
proceeding a very um, a publishing process. Uh, so that I think, uh, thank once again uh, for inv inviting me to join. Uh, please share my uh, some uh, observation and insight about the um, market uh, recent development in China. Okay, please. Please see the video. Can you help? Can you help to share my 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 yeah. presentation? Yes. Is it main menu to share the video, yeah. or from our side, from Hong Kong side? Kent, you, you have to share your screen. Could you please share your screen, Kent? Or maybe Norman? Okay, now it looks that it's coming. Now, now coming. Thank you very much. There is no volume over there. Probably the volume is off. Okay. Probably it's on mute. Uh, Kent, when you share your screen, you have to uh, share your screen you again. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Kent, when you share your screen, you have to share your screen with audio. Uh, okay, just a minute. Yeah, I think some technical issue. Uh, please wait a minute. Share. Uh, you have to share hello. with audio. Hello, Ming Man. Man could you assign uh, the, the, the right for sharing the audio? Because we cannot click the share audio audio for the video. I will check with them. They sent the slip to us. Hello, AJ is here. Yes, we. Guy, yes, AJ we. Here. Yes, we can. can yes, we can. Maybe you can. RJ. You share the video, please, if with with audio, if you can. We share the video to uh, RJ. Yeah. All right. Okay, share the video, Kent. All right, now we are we are sharing. Okay, you can you can see the video. Can you? Yes, coming, 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 coming. Coming. Sorry, we cannot share the uh, the audio from our side. We can just okay. share the okay, video. Okay, 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 okay. The video. Steven. We cannot have. To, uh, we do not have We're the ready? right for share the audio. Okay. 
All right. A few seconds and we are on. Okay, we're ready. The video is on. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests and members of Citrix, it is my great pleasure and excitement that I'm here today as the speaker of this latest session. Thank you, Citrix, for inviting me to discuss the latest development in the fatal market with the audience. Currently, there is a disparity in the definition of sales between Chinese and foreign customers leading to confusion in the market. Therefore, it is imperative to establish a universally recognized term that unifies the industry and provides consistent identity for data at fair trade. The importance of establishing an internationally recognized trade name and standard is therefore essential. The fair trade market in China has a rich and enduring history dating back to the Qing Dynasty, which was approximately 110 years ago. Data, NAFA, and other kinds of data boast impressive market value of remnantly 147 billion in 2022, and many technologies, BBC traders, BBC retailers, academia, and laboratory scientists are involved in the continuous development of the market. In 2019, the industry has already initiated the inclusion of fair trade in the football during the discussion in the Berlin Conference, thereby solidifying its status as the internationally recognized trade name, and this has garnered support from CISCO. With Hong Kong serving as the gate to promote industry standards, we have the opportunity to collaborate with esteemed international industry experts such as NTPC, Cisco, and TA Hong Kong. In light of the ongoing pandemic-related impact over the past few years, global concerns regarding China's economic situation have emerged. While we have seen a slowdown in China's key domestic indicators, we expect the recovery to be gradual. The central government policy to support business and building serves as a positive catalyst for economic recovery. We remain confident in China's positive momentum, further bolstered by vast government investment in infrastructure, technological advancement, and macroeconomic policy focused on job creation and domestic consumption stimulus measures. The fundamentals of consumption in China remain intact. According to the report from Gen and Jury Trade Association of China in 2022, the overall jury market size has reached 719 billion. We are expecting the market to continue to improve. The retail sales of jury in China has experienced a remarkable surge of 17.5% year on year during the first half of 2023, surpassing the overall performance of the China market. The upward trend underscores the resilience and potential of China's market, setting the stage for further advancement in the future. The market performance of data, NAFA, and other kinds of data has been exceptional which has accounted for 21% of the jewelry market value in China. While the overall jewelry market value has remained flat due to the pandemic impact, Beijing, Nefai, and other day products have recorded a remarkable year-on-year -year growth of 15.3%. Outperforming other jewelry categories such as diamonds and colored gemstones. 
throughout ancient Chinese history, bacon was seen as a sacred material and holds a very special status in the Chinese culture and often gives the convict blessing and luck, as well as a symbol of prosperity and happiness. It also holds sentimental value and serves as a symbol of family heritage and tradition, passing down from generation to generation. The rise of Bo Chao, a national trend that bans contemporary aesthetics and trends with a deep sense of national pride, has sparked an increased cultural appreciation and aesthetic among younger consumers resulting in a growing demand for jewelry products. The market demand for face trade products will continue to remain strong, driven by the rising dependence on traditional Chinese culture and the rise of Bo Chao. Hence, the initiative to provide face trade and internationally recognized trade name to further solidify its position as a symbol of culture and heritage. The market ecosystem has witnessed significant growth in recent years, with e-commerce playing a pivotal role as a key driver in China. Live streaming has gradually evolved into one of the most effective channels to reach younger consumer segments. The online sales of Facebook has witnessed remarkable and sustained growth with live streaming driving an impressive 70 to 80 percent of sales. While one of a kind products still attract customers to physical retail stores for actual touch and feel experience, even consumers train to acquire more expensive face products through auction houses. The testing and certification provided by NCTC, as well as other international institutes, including CIA, Gilbert, has instilled confidence in consumers purchasing face trade products, especially crucial for those online purchase. In addition to the craftsmanship rooted in traditional Chinese culture, innovative product design, such as bending face trade with natural diamonds, colored gemstones, and pearls, has become an important driver of demand. The fusion of elements that make face trade a fashionable item to be worn attracting not only local banks but also many other foreign brands which have incorporated face trade into their jewelry design and offering showcasing and captivating banks of eastern and western culture the establishment of industry standards and internationally recognized name of face trade has created an ideal framework for marketing face trade products effectively expanding the consumer base and reaching diverse market segments. For example, foreign customers can gain access to purchasing trade related <laughs> jewelry products. Foreign fashion brands can tap into the Chinese market using trade related products as their entry point. By providing trade with a recognized industry name, Consumer understanding of this distinctive <laughs> product is significantly enriched, passing the way for numerous growth and expansion opportunities to be found. The ongoing development of the face trade market relies on collective efforts from all sectors involved, including academia, industry associations, laboratory scientists, traders and retailers. Building consumer confidence is crucial. I sincerely extend my gratitude for the dedicated efforts of industry experts, such as CIPSA, Facial Advisory Members, J Hong Kong, and General Offices. Their commitment and contribution are invaluable. Together, let us analyze the facial market and cite the opportunities that lie ahead. With a unified trade name, industry standard, we can unlock the potential of Facebook, expanding its reach and ensuring its enduring legacy.
Thank you so much. Uh, I think, um, of course, uh, um, we are highly appreciate for those all uh, scientists, uh, in the, uh, professional experts. They are working hard in um, pathways to feel confident in between um, consumer and media uh, and also um, the um, wholesaler or even um, the miner. So I think. Um, May I invite uh, another speaker to share uh, some of their, um, their, their, their achievement uh, work, uh, of the uh, Beijing Working Group in the past year? May I invite Lomins to share some uh, insight? Thank you. Well, thank you, thank you, Ken. I think it's a time for, for us to, to share the PowerPoint Hello, uh, India sign, could, uh, could you please share the video, the video too, from Dr. Norman. Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, people members, it's my honor as a speaker to share the core elements and framework of the international free trade standard discussion draft in this free trade session. The content of this PPT is prepared by Professor Yang Yingxin and me. In my presentation, I have three tasks to share with you. In the Signature Event Crypto Congress 2019, CHK representatives Mr. Ken Wong and Dr. Evelyn have reported in a free trade special section. The new growth market of free trade and also the scientific research of free trade of last 30 years. The feedback from audience in and after this special section was very exciting and encouraging. Since then, we kept going ahead to organize seminars and webinars of internationalization of free trade standards. In July 2021, President Gaino was invited as keynote speaker of free trade seminar. In his keynote speech, he formally announced the formation of free trade GHK free trade working group with members of CIPSO and representatives of GHA. And he will chair this working group. This is the beginning of CIPSO's action plan. Even in the pandemic period, we still have progress and organized exchange activities. In March 2023, we have a major decision to form the professional writer team and consultation advisor team we have a mission to prepare the discussion draft of international free trade standards for civil free trade working group to review and discuss it. In May, we were very happy to meet uh, President Gaiano in Hong Kong, and he accepted our invitation as the chief advisor of the advisor team. Other advisors are GHK Chairman Dr. Evelyn. Mr. Ken Wong, GM and Director of NGCC, Professor Mimi Aoyang, and other important association representatives. For professional writers team, GIC Professor Yang Ming Jing has submitted as the convener, and he invites me as the deputy convener. And then we send invitation to expert and professor with ISO background, free trade research background, GP standard with higher national standard background, senior geologist with accredited free trade laboratory operation investment story experience to join the writer team. Having developed and host the GHK free trade standard for 20 years, we have a lot of learning and observation experience and inductive conclusion. We always explain to the fellows and the trade people, GHK standard is not just a definition or nomenclature of a of free trade. GHK free trade standard is mainly for commercial gem laboratories who intend to adopt ISO IEC 17025 QMS 
in their daily operation and management system according to their scope of business and customer service strategy. GHK Bay Trade Center is also an official key reference for the laboratory to design the layout of lab test report or services. This diagram shows the structure of ISO IEC 17025 accredited Bay Trade Laboratory quality management system. The document structure and the management system. The Bay Trade Center is in the middle of the document pyramid as the kind of work in question. Above the work in question are the SOP standard operation procedures and quality manual. Below are the work script template technical report quality form. For GHK Bay Trade Center, we have an important guidance note for journalists and our fellow members to learn quality management knowledge and start the certified journalist registration after completing the continuing professional development module and ISO training class. The Free Trade Accredited Lab will maintain their human resources system with certified journalists and management system in compliance with ISO IEC 17025 and fulfill the general requirements, structural requirements, resources management, and process management of the standard. To give a brief and simple presentation of ISO quality management system of accredited spatial laboratory, we always use the 4M1G factor model. The human factor of man is always the most important one among other four factors. The division of work in accredited spatial laboratory with the following important job specification and title. Journalists could be certified journalists and authorized signatory, technical manager, quality manager, document controller, and lab management representative. The other four factors like method, machine, material, and environment would be in similar condition when comparing with other lab facilities and sectors. For our experience, and we have a conclusion that the sustainability of basic laboratory is more reliant on the competence of journalists and lab personnel. Because all personnel of the laboratory would influence the laboratory activity and the quality of the product and services. To ensure the product test report and service conform to relevant requirements of ISO and lab established objectives, lab personnel, the management staff, operator and journalists play different roles in information process and material process flow and develop their career with a doing by learning path from a basic level, intermediate level, advanced level to expert level. That is why GHK in last 20 years provide ISO training and other CPD modules to members and to keep their knowledge up to date. We also observe that the lab who start providing basic testing services will build its own corporate governance, business policy, and corporate image with a trustmark-based strategy. Mission to write an English discussion draft of international free trade standards. Their about operation and our inductive conclusion do give us a new thinking of the way of developing the framework of the discussion draft. First, we have to know and highlight the common discussion draft would be a knowledge product composed of different streams of knowledge. To realize our mission, the writer team member would participate in a series of knowledge production, knowledge management, and knowledge creation process. Covering mm -hmm. the process of codification, articulation, combination of personal knowledge, and team knowledge, knowledge in tested and explicit format. This key reference book 
the knowledge creating company by true Japanese professors. Then I post here, give us a clear guideline. As long as we adopt the concept of face face standard as a knowledge product and agree with its direction, we could try to define the project configuration, scope of work, and core content of the decision draft. And then identify the competent framework of QMS knowledge, face face testing knowledge, and skill of lab key personnel from management staff to technologists and supporting staff. Also, we need to design the format so that we could combine and integrate the knowledge of ISO quality management, certification and accreditation, gemological knowledge, patient knowledge, lab practical know-how, trade application and practice, ESG principle, etc. into the discussion draft incorporating ESG principles into the content and structure of the discussion draft. We are very happy that President Gaino joined our seminar on the environmental, social and governance ESG for a brighter future of the gems and jewelry industry in March and give us a keynote speech. In this seminar, speakers have explored the value of ESG and identify ESG to be becoming a new competitiveness, comparing to the traditional cost-based competitiveness. The feedback of on-site and online audience was very good. The on-site and online speaker encouraged the company management to adjust the conventional mindset and business strategy, not only focusing on creating value for owners, shareholders and investors, but also creating shared value for external stakeholders, including supplier, customer, and consumer, by developing a system of good practice and guidelines of ESG. For technologists, it would not be easy to identify the ESG-related ISO standards. In the past two years, GSK has organized a full-day CBD training class on the topics of ESG and ISO standards. With the support of international ISO experts, Mr. Sibiger, a member of professional writers team, the list of ESG-related ISO standards here showing us how they are implemented with the core concept of sustainability traceability and transparency of the name and signature of signatory will be a key part of the presentation content of International Free Trade Standard Test Report or Certificate. We have to think in the future, International Free Trade Standard, whether the journalists, authorized signatory, and lab management staff should have to take certain part of lawful liability of the result and conclusion that they confirm and state in the test report or certificate. In addition of practical competency, professional ethics and integrity of the journalists, authorized signatory and lab management staff are of utmost importance for that to maintain its trustmark brand. We foresee the international basic standards would at least couple of the ISO system currently that I have mentioned before and the other four essential modules. First, reference standard sample. Second, training materials package. First, reference guidance of ESG practice and ISO standard. Four, competent framework or lab personnel. Scoponized harmonization work across key stakeholders and associated regulatory community. Formation of group of GHK face face standard industry advisors and expert advisors from the sector of industry, academic, research application. Since confirming the mission of internationalization of face face standard in 2017, a serious MOU and collaboration in recent years 
supervisor, Jewish pay cooperate closely with NCPC, GIC, GIC, and Macau Gold Ministry, and consult one another on matters of mutual interest to achieve the common objective of advancing and promoting the international free trade and gemstone standardization and training in the field of technology for mutual benefit. To close my presentation, I would like to call NCPC Professor Yang Li Jin and GIC Professor Yang Li Jin's work as follows. Existing China National Standard GP of free trade and GHK free trade standards have contributed a lot to the jewelry market and trade running and consumers confidence. Remarkable scientific research database of free trade by China's professors and experts are available for our sharing. Great presentation, Norman, as usual. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, President. So I think um, we go into another section, which is the panel discussion. Uh, today we are honored to have uh, heavyweight uh, people from Chijo, uh, uh, dear President, uh, and also uh, Mr. Ken Scala. Uh, president of Chichou Section A, uh, Dr. Hanko, uh, President of Chichou Gemological Commission, and also um, Mr. Sumi, uh, Director of Gem Jury Institute of Thailand, and of course, we include uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Norman Siu, and also uh, uh, Dr. Yang, uh, Yang, Yang Ming Xing. Uh, I think, um, first of all, thank you, Norman's uh, introduction about what they have done, worked together with um, the uh, Beijing Working Team in the past uh, years. Uh, I think uh, this is a very uh, comprehensive report uh, and also telling the journey uh, of the development of the Beijing uh, Working Group. And also, I think uh, we are really, really appreciate that um, Beijing uh, initiative that we raised uh, 2019 is not is no more a dream. I think I think we can see uh, everything is working in progress uh, and very smooth. Of course, uh, I think the uh, support uh, from Sipjo, uh, especially Tyson, is really important. Uh, I think first of all, I would like to have this section. Uh, would like to ask, I mean, our honourable guests to share their insight, observation, uh, or any idea in an open and also inclusive approach. Uh, may I ask the first question, read the first question, that's um, to uh, Mr. Ken uh, Scarlett. I think uh, because of Braga, I know you are experts in uh, lab management, and also, of course, a very uh, important uh, gemologist. Uh, what do you think the framework and the composition of five core parts, including the IOS basis, Beijing testing standard documents, and four different knowledge modules? Um, that Mr. Norman, uh, Dr. Norman Xu, that present. How do you see? Uh, have you? Uh, can you give us uh, some other um, your your idea? Yeah. Can you? Let me begin by saying uh, congratulations on a, on a uh, wonderfully presented um, uh, a document there with your ISO style, um, uh, with um, in a very similar format to the um, best practices for any lab. Um, I can't think. I think uh, maybe GIT follows that same ISO standard, but there are very few other labs around the world that have signed on to it. Do, do you, do you? No, okay. So um, we, it, 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 it's particularly 
wonderful to see that um, there in Hong Kong, China in general, you've produced a, a standard operations document for your Feishui laboratories. Um, uh, it, I personally think I'm overawed by it. The fact that you've managed to do that and get labs involved is pretty awesome. Um, uh, and um, I'm a little jealous, frankly, um, because I would like to see gem labs around the world operating to you know, ISO documentation standards. Um, but that unfortunately is not the case. Um, now you applied it to Fei Shui. Um, with Fei Shui, it is a difficult, difficult for, um, I think still difficult for people in the, the West um, or at least outside China uh, and Hong Kong uh, to fully understand the concept of Fei Shui. Um, I think y y you quite rightly said it's a work in process. And um, I think it will continue to be that. I mean, I'm looking at, I, I'm, I have a question for you straight away. I, I just, wait, while you were making your excellent presentations, I downloaded something from elegislation.gov.hk, um, which speaks to Fei Shui. Uh, but this document is from 2019. Um, is this document still extant, or, or has it um, been, been overtaken? Do you know? Okay, may I ask Edward to share? And, and, and because Edward, uh, to, and together with me, uh, to have a sharing in 2019 uh, in Berlin. Thanks. During the time, okay, in, uh, I mean, in 2019, the Crypto Congress, okay, we have a presentation in the species uh, special section, and we talk about the, the definition of new creatures and also the, uh, the, the history, the culture, and also the, uh, why we use the names of species, uh, especially the, some scientific research on it. Then after that, okay, uh, the Citro also invited me to give a, a, pr a presentation, a, a webinar. No, no. The, 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 my, the, I just, I just downloaded it from from a government site in Hong Kong. It's a government site in Hong Kong. Government site. Oh, yes, maybe yeah. uh, the other country may be. No, it's okay. I, I, I was just wondering if it's still extant or not. Certainly, I, I, I remember very well the excellent presentations you gave in Bahrain. Um, uh, superbly presented, very professionally. Um, I, I just, I just feel that we need to. Um, may, we need to, as you say, it's a work in progress. We need, we need in the West to um, understand things a little better. And I think you'll find our, our ears are open and our minds are open. And um, we, we, we want to move along with you in that understanding. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. I think uh, the important is that uh, how we can um, transfer, I mean, our knowledge, I mean, to the Western uh, consumer. I think, uh, like one of my one of my client who is a France, uh, uh, my friend is a France client. Uh, several years ago, he showed me one of his Fei uh, 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 stitches, uh, which is uh, a uh, something passed uh, passed through from his grandfather. By the time his friend, his grandfather, he has made business uh, in China in a kind of Qing Dynasty. So that actually, uh, in even hundreds of years ago, you know, Western people already know when they travel China, they know about Fei Chui, they know about our culture. So, but I think uh, I think one of the important uh, why we initiate uh, 
Fei Chui, the name globally recognized uh, through Ship Show. I think important is that we want to continue the, I mean, the story, you know, not uh, today or, uh, uh, or in the future, so that we can create opportunity for every people, they can enjoy the beauty of Fei Chui, the king of uh, gems, a uh, counter gemstone. Yeah, that is some of my idea. And uh, normally, if, if you, 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 do you think you have something to, 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 to share? Uh, Thank you, Ken. Actually, I think it's very impressive that Ken give a very positive uh, comment on the ISO based uh, laboratory of who provide a free trade testing service. Uh, in Hong Kong, we have a, a quite a well known accredited free trade laboratory. I just have a sharing with Ken, and they, uh, they can, they have report more than 10,000 uh, uh, free trade testing report a year to the to their clients, covering from a high end maybe international auction house to uh, usual traders. So that is the fact, and also some data. I think we can uh, later uh, share with you all. And um, I think for the framework, and then uh, what we propose here actually to show what we have learned from the past 20 years. Because it's not easy, starting from uh, epidemiological background, uh, journalists, to have a new learning ISO 17025 and also after the learning we have to practice in laboratory and also we need to how to lead the team of uh, journalists and uh, supporting staff to perform as we write down on the ISO document so it's really uh, exciting and also uh, a new world I think everyone should know and enter later on Can, can I just uh, just come back on yeah. that? Um, um, uh, operating to ISO standards, I, ISO laboratory standards, is a wonderful thing, and I, it is. I'm, like I said earlier on, I'm jealous that you've managed to do that um, in, in Hong Kong. Fantastic. Um, the, the issues we have really is understanding the definitions of Fei Shui and how we should uh, look at that and, um, and develop it, if necessary, into some kind of documentation within, within SIBJO. Um, I know Hanko next to me has done, did, did a tremendous job in trying to look at that on a global basis. Maybe we can ask Hanko to um, uh, recall. Yes, we are appreciate to hear from Ken Hanko. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yes, we, um, of course, from our end also looked into this. Uh, and um, a few years ago, we conducted a survey among um, yeah, many people who dealt with Fei Chui and Jadeite in general. And uh, we actually found that in Asia there was some, some slight difference in opinion. As some would, would call uh, Fei Chui uh, really a very high quality jadeite and, and solely that. And of course in Hong Kong you have a kind of broader definition. Well, uh, we concluded from that survey that uh, we could list the name Fei Chui in the um, gem definitions chapter, what we are now uh, have written, the first version. And we listed it as a trade name, which is really um, what we now understand an, a, a China specific name. But I know your ambitions, of course. So, but uh, we listed it as a trade name and uh, was understood to be Jedi Jade and we understand also that it's more loosely applied also to Omphacite and Cosmochlor. 
but uh, that it is essentially jade and jade is there. And um, yeah, so it, it's really listed as a trade name. And, and we also made clear that we feel that if you use that name, or if that name is used, that it should be clear to which minerals actually are uh, you refer. So if the name Fei Chu is used, then um, yeah, a customer is entitled to know what kind of, uh, uh, what it is, jadeite or green omphacite perhaps. Thank you, thank you, Hengo. Uh, any, any other? Uh, Andrew? Uh, yes. Let me say something about it. Okay. Uh, I, I also dive, I'm quite uh, agree with uh, Ms., uh, Mr. Ken Wong. Okay, as uh, he said that in his uh, PowerPoint, uh, there is a significant, significant uh, growth in the J markets uh, in recent years. And the uh, live streaming uh, becoming uh, becomes the the main streams in uh, Beijing uh, business. As we know, the uh, e-commerce live streaming uh, has changed uh, customers' behaviors. Uh, for example, the, uh, most of the dealers don't need have to go to the uh, directly to the J markets uh, constantly or indirectly, and they. Some customers' behaviors may change also, and uh, customers perceive the values of uh, live uh, streaming, and also customers' trust uh, and engagement highly relied on the whole knowledge of uh, products of the products. Uh, those um, holes, whole uh, must be maybe the streamers or the internet uh, celebrities, and. Do they really know about the, their products, which is uh, provided by other dealers, and uh, where they come from, their origin and uh, localities, where are they uh, being treated? They don't know about it. So this uh, makes uh, the definition, the feature definitions more important, and it's it, uh, the, uh, the, the, their products, the British mainly rely on the test report. And the task reports, okay, and uh, the facial definition and internationally uh, accepted standards, especially the testing standards, become essential to the industry. Uh, as uh, the, uh, as uh, Dr. Longman Seal said, um, the reliable, uh, reliability of uh, the task reports is relied on the competence of uh, man, that is uh, the human factors. Uh, becomes very important as one of the five key factors in the quality management system of uh, laboratories. So that is my comment. Yes, thank you. Thank, thank you, Edward. I think uh, that is very important how we um, deal talent, right? Uh, how we sustain the talent and how we um, say talking about knowledge management, okay? So I would like to ask uh, another expert um, uh, from uh, TIT, uh, Mr. Sumi. You know, uh, uh, you can you share some of you, your view about the manpower of the um, uh, uh, of the lab, which is uh, important for the success and also sustainability of the lab operation. So, can you give some advice to the professional uh, writer team? Uh, in order to draft the discussion draft. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ken. Uh, I just like to share like, uh, in Thailand, the, the journey of standardized objects and Feng Shui has been pivotal uh, traditionally. Thai chess market lack of uh, pre precise definition in the beginning or the customer like uh, 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 all the report, it will be mentioned only the Jedi and uh, uh, a lot of Chinese tourists, they come to Thailand. They are talking about Fei Shui. They don't understand the Jedi. Like, that is the, the starting point for GAT to like, uh, uh, consider and then uh, uh, looking for the standard of Fei Shui. And uh, in 2019, 
we start to do the MOU with GSK and uh, we learn together and, and uh, since then uh, uh, we have the project to improve the standard of uh, Thai gemologists called JT standard. Like we are trying to gather all the, the laboratory standard, the gemologist standard and everything. Hoi Sui is also one of a uh, category that we are working together with GSK and implement to the market. Right. Uh, the standard of Hoi Sui is quite striving the, the clear definition and testing standard which is focused on jets. Right. The collaboration with the Gem and Jewelry Association of Hong Kong JSK and the National Gemstone Testing Center NGTC of China have defined element of Hui Sui very clearly uh, comparing to the Jedi in the past and, and it's like a, uh, uh, quite, si quite simple for Chinese people they know very well about Fei Sui since they call this stone at Fei Sui like from a thousand years. Right. Uh, this align with the standard between Hong Kong and Thailand. Right. And uh, for, for the point that uh, how the Western will recognize, I think the, the, this, will, this will be like a uh, since Sipjo creating the Fei Shui Committee has become a crucial platform for industry-wide co coordination. This water confidence among the consumer and facilitate the integration of international market. And I believe that uh, very near future, the Fei Shui will be recognized by the Western as well. Yeah. Mr. Sumi, uh, I think uh, Fact, once again, we thank you uh, for your hand, uh, big hand uh, to, the, uh, to, to become our uh, advisor of the uh, professional writer team. Thank you so much for your contribution. Um, I, think, and not, I think because time is, uh, time is uh, uh, I think we only have a kind of 10 minutes left behind. I think the last question I would like to ask uh, uh, my dearest uh, president, uh, Dr. Gitano. I think one qu first question, I think, um, how do you think about ESG, you know? Uh, actually, this is a very uh, important topic for, uh, the, for our industry to learn, I think, well, first of all, to learn and to implement in the future. Uh, I think that is, uh, I don't think you have a lot of idea. So do, how do you see ESG would uh, contribute to the free trade, I mean, uh, topic? Or our, uh, can you give some advice to our uh, working team? Thank you. Thank you, Ken. This is uh, a great question. We are working on ESG's protocols since a long while. In fact, uh, the first uh, presentation, it will be done uh, into the laboratory grown diamond committee where uh, good friends and uh, uh, top consultants and professors uh, from uh, uh, United Kingdom have uh, presented uh, to our attention after several months of uh, studies, meetings, uh, video conferences, a, a chart that uh, uh, unfortunately you all are not here, but it will be presented tomorrow. Uh, but it, it will be a pleasure uh, uh, once has been present to share with everyone, with everyone, including uh, all of you. Uh, the essence of ESGs uh, are the following. Apart the meaning of the letters E, S, and G, meaning environment, social, and governance, uh, what we have requested is the following. Oh, uh, follow rules, regulations, national, international, or internal 
rules within a company. And I, in this case, refer to the company under your leadership, Cho Tai Fook, is essential in order to produce a better way to exercise businesses. Uh, we have requested to these friends to underline the fact that all the elements related to ESG, just to uh, cut a long story short, are producing benefit and more income to every company despite how big is the company or how small is the company. It doesn't make any difference because as we said, and I take uh, uh, the example of the Fei Chui standard on Jade, because you said and you mentioned one of your clients from France. Well, we have to, be, to bring to France or to the United States or all over the world those principles uh, in terms that they may better understand the meaning, the value, and how precious is Jade and Jadeite, uh, uh, despite all the story that uh, are uh, around the meaning of jade and jadeite in, in that part of the world, meaning the east part of the world, but also in the other side I saw uh, quite recently uh, uh, an auction by, I think, Sotheby's, where uh, uh, jade was uh, sold for many million dollars, so there is also the, the financial meeting of that. But in coming back to the ESGs, the ESGs are essential. We are, uh, again, working not only in the laboratory grown diamond, but we are thinking seriously to extend to every section, every commission, every committee, and sectors of SIPJO uh, in order that we will give the indication of the importance of following those rules. We will explain in a very simple way. I cannot anticipate the president of the laboratory Com committee is looking at me. I would like <laughs> to show you some uh, uh, slides, but unfortunately I cannot in this moment. But you will receive the presentation in order that you will go uh, directly to your conclusion and obviously when this will be done in the next days, I would like to receive the comment of all those that are interested and may give their comment to us. So, yes, that is the right direction. Yes, we are taking into serious consideration since a while, uh, and, and your question is put appropriately because this is the time to go. Thank you very much, uh, Kent, and I want, taking uh, the opportunity that I have the, the floor, to thank all of you, uh, uh, Sumed, Ken, and, uh, and uh, Anko, uh, for the interesting, important organizations that all of you in Hong Kong and China have been so kind uh, to present to the Congress and I can see here that the room is uh, uh, quite full, but uh, it is important that we go forward. And uh, I believe that soon, uh, by the next Congress, uh, we will be able, in, uh, from this Congress to the next, to present some uh, 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 serious uh, document to go to the conclusion that is the goal of our meeting. So, Kent. As usual, you did a great job, and also the colleagues over there, and I want to thank, through you, all of them. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, before we end our, our uh, feature discussion uh, and feature section, I would like to, uh, once again, to thank Sijo, uh, Sijo uh, team, uh, and, and especially uh, Dr. Catano, I think under your leadership, I think uh, the Feichui Bakun Group growing very smooth. Very, uh, I think we hope that after uh, this conference, 
uh, we can move faster. And then uh, I hope that um, Feijui will contribute um, the business opportunity for the, the jewelry industry uh, internationally. Not only talking about the story of uh, East, but a story of West and a story for the world. Uh, thank you so much. So let's uh, work together to make it come true. Uh, thank you, uh, everybody's um, participation today. Thank you so much. Let me take this opportunity, Kent, before we leave, to express my deep appreciation to Simon Hui that you send uh, uh, here in Jaipur, that yep. he, he gave a, a great presentation during the Diamond Commission. I want to tell you live, you know, no okay. need. so thank yeah. you very much. And this is the contribution that you and Cho Tai Fook are giving to the World Jewelry community more than the World Jewelry Confederation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for my appreciation, big honors to contribute the prosperities and the better future for the jewelry industry globally. Thank you. Wonderful. I think that there is uh, now... Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All the best. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you soon. Okay. We have... Uh,